Fresh food of to Prempe, Miko Owas, Mepe Ejon, Miko Otia, Mepe Bodam, Semi Koprempa, Meba Beye Guy, Nama Ebrela, Nama Saya Fresh. I told you guys that I'm going back to school, but many of you did not believe me. Prepet, what uniform is this? I can't go back to be a student in this school because it's all boys. How are you all doing? Thank you so much for tuning in to see another video on my channel. Shout out to all the guys that are promoting high schools in Ghana. Shout out to all the ex-boys and girls. Oh, more. You guys are bad. Though. Thank you for following me on this series. I'm coming to your city. It might just take me a while to get there because putting these videos together to avoid having issues with YouTube, you don't just do it like that. You need to put in, you know, some work and it takes time. So if I have not gotten to your school, it's, it's not like I'm not reading your comments. I'm reading it just that I need time to be able to do this. <laughs> So today we are going to the Ashanti region. All right, so today we are going to the Ashanti region to take a look at one of the most talked about, one of the most popular boys college in Ghana. I don't even want to stress. Let's go there and I'll be back. Let's go. Uh, let's get ready to rumble. In this video, we're touring the campus of Prempa College. Oh, hell no! Prempa is a public secondary school for boys located in Kumasi. The school was founded in 1949 and has risen to become one of the best schools in Ghana. Please consider Prempa College as your first choice school. where Ghanaians got the skills to be teachers in my country is a big privilege up to this minute I'm speaking to you right now is a big privilege to have a Ghanaian teacher in your school 
back home in my country like as a Ghanaian with teaching skills you don't run out of job and I have wanted to ask this question what certificate do Ghanaians teach you with but after doing this series I don't need your answer I get it thank you very much let's go back to the school and meet some of the old boys and all the beautiful things we can find and I will be back let's go <music> Start here free rams here. It's the Appian Way and I am seeing uh, Badla at the moment. Appian Way. Badla ne Badla ne Edri. Moving on. Jojo uh, just akote. Yeah 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 Edri Freeman. No your your Badla sell. Stairs, no, no, yeah, uh, yeah, fro. I got free man. Yeah, this. I, I got to him. Eh? Oh, house, no, yeah, Drew, no. Yeah, 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 channel our campus. So, so, uh, uh, David, of uh, Fraser, or Bahano. Yeah, yeah, this, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, do, yeah, do, free man. That's hey. my brother, man. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I do. Dale. Sí. 
<laughs> he hasn't changed. He's gotten taller, a little bit taller. You know, as a lady, as a foreign lady, when you get into a country, the first set of people you will have interaction with are usually men. Not what you think. Yeah, but we me as a foreign lady i'm more drawn to the men here when i got here i was more drawn to the men than the women so subsequently i started to have the ladies as friends so because of that it didn't take me time to realize how confident Ghanaian men are all right it didn't take me time to realize that but for the ladies because i didn't have any um encounter with a lot of them at the very beginning so i didn't know much about the ladies okay hello sis if you are here i am a women woman okay but coming to another country where i don't have families and i didn't i don't have friends so the first set of people i met were men i, I didn't struggle to understand that Ghanaians are confident but what i didn't know is i thought that all of them got their confidence through the university but now i'm taking a look at this school if now you finish from this school no if you have if you dare if now you <laughs> If now you visit this school, not say you school, if now you visit a school like this, a school like this one, won't you be confident? Let's be honest, won't you be confident? Is there a point in time that you were actually disrespected by a student, like even maybe a, a, a junior, and you feel like, no, this person is actually disrespecting me, even though I'm, a, I'm the head boy of the school? Oh, it doesn't happen. It has never happened to you. And it won't happen. Bro. Precious. How far? Very good. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Premier College. <laughs> That's right. The only college in the country. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Hey, this guy's some pressure. <laughs> it's always you. Bro, what's your name? Um, Master Honorable Senior Champion Leslie Johnson. Master Honorable Senior a Champion Leslie Johnson. Johnson. Yes, please. You hear the name and the titles, <laughs> your school, <laughs> what title do they have for you, your school? Bro, you're the head boy of this great institution. Fortunately for me. Hey, I have heard your school has really produced great people. Oh. Thank you, yes. You've become the head boy of Premper College for, for how many years? Okay, it's 2021, 2021, 2021, yes, yeah, so, yes. so let's say a year. Yes, a year. a year. You've been the head boy for almost a year. Yes, please. Leslie, I want you to tell me how you became the head boy of this institution. Well, it's a very long story. And then drawing back down memory lane, I came into Premier College in 2019. I was part of the first years we enrolled in 2019. And then as I came into the school, I got to realize that the school had a lot to offer me. And then I saw this kind of leadership or this inherent leadership potential in me, taking the school far, making an impact in the school. So I told myself, why not take up a leadership role? And then voila, I saw the head boy position. I went in for it. And then I made my head. Boy. Uh, uh, which school did you come from? Like a junior high school? Now, let me tell you something. You know, sometimes people confuse confidence with arrogance. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about confidence. Like your self, your self esteem has not been tempered with, it's not low. And you don't, because it's low, try to force it. You know, Ghanaian men do not have that. And now I see. Mm, now I see. I see it. I see how your government instilled this in you. Pacho, dear future husband, I hope you schooled here. Or. Oh. <laughs> let's go back to the school okay this 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 is more than just a school this is more than just a school let's go back and i'll be back <laughs> Building up, I'm a big pride, I'm a in 
is confident he will not rape a woman oh. sorry to use this word i know there are young people seeing my videos of late because of the types of videos i'm doing lately but please pardon me Be when a man is confident a man will not rape you when a man is confident a man will not assault a woman when a man is confident he will not just make unnecessary bring up unnecessary drama you wouldn't want to use a woman for money if you're confident and now i get it Okay, when I say Ghanaian men, most of the time I talk about confidence. Some people will mis misquote me. I'm not talking about arrogance, okay? Arrogancy is for people with low self-esteem. Thank you very much. And they want, to, they want to come across to you like a confident person. It's different. So all thanks to the government of Ghana and all the schools that came to this country to impart and not to steal from. See, I want to give a very big shout out to all the churches that came to Ghana and <laughs> should I thank the church or the government? Is it the churches that established the schools, some of the schools in Ghana? I mean, who should we thank? I would like to know who should we appreciate? Is it, I mean, the churches that established some of the schools in Ghana or the government that picked it upon themselves to continue from where these churches stopped. Who should we appreciate? Because I will say we should appreciate the government. Please, I beg you. I'm not talking about the government of today. I'm talking about government policy on education in Ghana. So I'm not talking about politics here. All right, because I'm not doing, I won't do it. And I'm glad that a lot of you understand. Some of you advise me, oh, don't do it. Oh, don't talk about anything. They will insult you. <laughs> yeah. But I promise to just basically just be honest about how I feel about some things in Ghana and leave it there. So when I say government, I'm not talking about this government in power or the former government or the one that is to come. I'm talking about the policies that bring about all that we act, all that I'm celebrating right now in Ghana. I will thank the government because it's not only in this country that these churches came and established schools. In my country, all the schools in my village, up to all the primary schools in my village were established by these churches. But go and take a look at them. Go there. You won't, you won't allow your child to go to that school. Yeah, I'll give it to the government. <laughs> I will give it to the government. God bless Ghana. Thank you so much. This is how some governments somewhere in Africa will keep you poor by poisoning your mind about other African uh, countries by making you feel like, oh, those ones, ah, they are poor. They don't have anything. Whatever I'm giving to you, you are privileged. Those ones are not privileged to get it. Now that we have opened their nyash, now that breeze is blowing and some of us rebels have traveled out and because i'm a free thinker i don't because some of us are free thinkers we don't think the way we were taught we think the way things are so we are exposing the truth mm. we are here to expose the truth this is it so if you were in this college before comment down below okay these guys here yeah, these guys here <laughs> I'm still, you know, I was searching for videos of um, former students here to see, to see what's up with them. Like, but I'm seeing that some of them, this school have produced prominent people. They are rich, pepe, pepe. they are rich.
is the competition that I love to see. From the way I talk about things here on my channel, some people already think that I do not like rich people. No, I like rich people because I like money. Come on. Money is not everything, but my brothers, my sister, everything is money. I do not hate money. But what I don't like is the attitude towards that money. That is what me I don't like. How do you behave? How do you, what, what are you feeling like? Because you have money. I mean, when you have this money, how do you behave? How do you relate with your environment? I mean, the people around, are they feeling down or they are feeling secure? Or they're basically not feeling anything, which I rather prefer. They don't have to feel, to feel a certain way because you are not their mother, you are not their father, they, you are not their God. But they shouldn't feel intimidated by your attitude because you have money this is where i say no to money money must go <laughs> that way money should get out let us, let us breathe without money so in the absence of that attitude i don't have anything against people with money i like money mm? if you know me you know that i'm a monica <laughs> i'm a monica but i i love my money to install confidence and hope in others i love my money to be something that don't have to be a topic of discussion it don't have to be what defines me uh -huh. if you want to bring that what defines you is money me i will act like i don't know you have money i will rubbish the money so that is why mm. so i like money okay okay what i'm driving at is if you must flaunt your money, you have to do it like you have to do it like the way former students are doing in Ghana. Yeah, the way they flaunt. You see, they, I've done videos on. I mean, I've dropped one of the girls' video, one of the girls' school already. The reason I can't say which of them is because I don't know which one will come first between, I mean, between Westling girls and Anfantiman girls. So I, I don't know which of these videos I will drop before this video. So the reason I can't say precisely. But I said that, yeah, so I love how the girls are flaunting their wealth. Mm -hmm. I love it. Instead of investing all that monies into to wearing expensive hair and gold jewelries after all goats are found in ghana they would rather put it together and give back to their community una we don't know it will be a good thing to give you are giving back it's not like you're doing charity work you are giving back because you feel like it is your duty to give back after all i'm doing me a favor i'm loving my country you guys, uh, you guys, this is more than a school. These guys, eh? But wait, though, the way these guys behave, like, they behave like they are doing masters. And I love it. All right. I love doing these videos, master. I love doing these videos. And I hope that you enjoyed this one, as I will be back with another school reaction video. All you have to do in order not to miss out of these videos is to hit the subscription button uh, anytime i upload another video you would get notified i love you all bye thank you